this is a quick uh, unboxing of the Firefly version plus development board. It's based on Rockchip RK3399. It's a 6 core processor based development board. So I'll do an unboxing and I'll show you all the items. So this is what you get in the box. One development board. I'll show you in a minute. Here in a separate package you have accessories that are very very well packed also so let's start with a case I think it's optional I'm not sure if it costs an extra money but you have a some type of a case it's an open type case I think upper and uh, lower cover from plastic so you have an option for a case also you have in the accessories you have two Wi-Fi antennas this board supports dual Wi-Fi so you have two antennas and a standard USB to a micro USB cable and you also have the two wires for the antennas of course you have corks here basically so this side goes to the board and that's for the antennas so you have two antennas do Wi-Fi so really really nice other accessories I'll show you in a minute so what you have also you have a debug syrup uh, interface with it you can upload images directly to the board and a standard micro USB to a USB version type C interface because this board has a type C interface also so this is the board really, really small so I guess this goes to a PC with the cable I'll show you second ago to the PC and here the connector for here and for the board so you can upload images directly with this little small board it's a serial interface debug board so that's additional option accessories and also you have here a nice very nice heat sink with a thermal compound you need to use it so the heat sink is really really cool you can see the logo of the company Firefly well designed you can see super high quality so you have heat sink and of course the power supply unit also really really nice quality it's a 20 volts 2 amps power supply unit also super high quality I think very cool so that's it and back to the board it's based on the rock chip processor that's the processor of course and in the second part video I'll show you all the interfaces so stay tuned and thanks for watching and bye for now this is a new development board it's called the Firefly and it's based on the latest Rockchip RK3399 
basically it has six cores, uh, four quad core, and two dual cores. So basically it's six, and it's very advanced board. So you have three versions of this board. One is the basic one with 2 GB on 16 GB eMMC. Second one, it's called the Plus. It has 4 GB of RAM uh, and 32 GB eMMC. And the third one, it's the Max, called the Max. It has 4 GB of RAM on 128 GB of eMMC flash. So it's pretty uh, big. And I'll show you all the interfaces here. And this board it comes with 4 GB of RAM. It's the plus version. So I'll do a quick overview of all the interfaces here. So here you can see the Rock chip processor. Okay. This is the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth chip also. So let's start with the top interfaces here. So here you have the internet, internet interface. HDMI version 2, it supports uh, 4K playback and 2K at 60 frames per second. It's the highest one. And also you have a USB type version C interface here. An optical fiber interface also. This is a USB interface version 3. And that's the power supply. 20 volts DC interface also and here we have the PCI Express interface also debug serial port YOV interface here EDP interface here the golden one recovery button here on the side okay and here you have four USB version 2 each is two because it's an upper view you can see it's two each so four in total you have here a TF card slot here and a SIM card option also you can use it if you buy a modern expansion card I'll show you in a minute it comes with 4 GB of RAM this board you have one two three four chips and I think each is about 1 GB of course and that's the eMMC I think, I'm not sure. Here we have a dual MIPI interface, one and one, basically. And that, this is the IR receiver, headphone jack, built-in microphone you have here also, if you can see here. This is the power. And of course, here you can see this is the battery, external battery interface, also RTC battery interface just above the IO receiver. And reset, GPIO interface, I think it's 42 pins, I'm not sure. And this is for the fan thing, the interface for the power, for the fan. There's an option for a fan and an heat sink. So, that's it, I'm sure. And let's switch to the back side and I'll show you more. Here on the side, you can see here you have an option for a, a mod, modem expansion card LTE that supports LTE 3G also. So you can hook it here and you have 3G or 4G support, connection support. Here, I think this is the MIPI port also for connecting a camera, I think. Not sure, also an option. So it's pretty advanced board. It supports Ubuntu and also it supports Android version 6. It supports dual uh, boot option also in the same image. So you can select if you want to boot for Ubuntu or Android version 6 and that's it I hope you enjoy my quick overview of the Firefly Plus version thanks for watching and bye
Right now I'm running uh, Ubuntu version 16.04 I think and you can see the desktop it's pretty nice and the performance of this device is very good and you have all kinds of pre-installed apps here and you can see it loads pretty fast again let's try um, opening few apps like uh, Librea Office you can see it runs really fast opens up so basically the experience is like running a mini PC or PC, desktop PC and let's try other things here you can see volume also you have sound you can adjust it here also uh, Wi-Fi works and Ethernet LAN also works you have an option to set it into automatic mode the Ethernet if you have uh, a wired connection so also Bluetooth manager is here works so desktop really nice uh, it's based on the XFCE desktop so you can see here let's try opening a web browser also fast this is Firefox opening Firefox and let's try opening a website so basically the device is very very nice very smooth experience browsing so that's in a website of course no lags when moving windows open windows again very smooth and uh, how to switch I'll show you the file manager also here of the folders looks like so how to switch to Android operating system so what you need to do is this first you go to system you have boot Android, you pick it up, click on it, it asks you do you want to boot into Android system, you click OK, and the system boots. And you see it takes really few seconds. And that's it, you're in Android version 6 it's a 64-bit operating system version of Android 6 of course and you have also have a pre-installed Kodi Kodi works really smooth you can see it loads really fast so Kodi works and system information here you can see here everything works really nice and uh, let's try opening few videos and play some samples F. so let's try on the movies this is my sample collection this is a blu-ray video smooth so that's 1080p resolution let's try a few samples in 4k so 
so let's try a few this is a 4k at 60 frames per second the TV is not a 4k supported TV but you can see it runs pretty smooth this is a 4k at 60 frames per second and I can show you the information okay it plays under should be 60 frames per second if not I'll try another sample so let's try another one Again, very smooth. You can see also the movement is very, very smooth here. Let's try more samples here some some of the sample samples don't play because maybe it's a coding problem so let's try This is really a heavy uh, 4K video, but it plays very, very smooth. So basically, Cody performs really, really nice, very impressive. This is the latest one, Kuton, the 64-bit version, and Showbox also works on this device. Also, I'll cancel the audio because of the copyright issues with YouTube, and I'll show you. how it works so Showbox also works and other APKs for playing free mu movies so you can use this device to play videos and also you can see it's very very fast system is very responsive and let's try another APK for watching movies Okay, I need the MX player, so MX player, so I can use it right now. But it does work, and 
let's see some info about Android version 6.0.1 and here you can see how much memory is used I have 4 GB in total from that maybe 20% is used you can see here meaning I have 3 GB of free RAM for running apps and storage information I basically I have 32 GB internal storage but with the operating system of files and you have basically 23 GB of space from that after installing a few apps uh, I have still plenty of uh, space here so that's Android if you want to switch back into Ubuntu you switch you click on this sign here switch system and you are booting right back into Ubuntu Linux and it loads really really fast as you can see here so right now I'm back in Ubuntu it took a few seconds maybe four five seconds and I'm back so experience is good with both operating systems uh, Ubuntu uh, is a 64-bit uh, version this one it's not a 32 and you have all kinds of apps here again system is fast here, uh, here you can adjust the display settings here the refresh rate also nice idea and that's my portable drive here with the samples So I hope you enjoy my quick uh, demo of Ubuntu Linux and also Android version 6 running on this hardware. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.